ever ask yourself, why am I here? You ever just wonder, for what perf purpose am I here? Why am I living? You know that answer is found in the Bible. It's found in the book of Revelation, chapter 4, verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. You are a created being by a creator and not evolution. God created you that you might give God glory, honor, and power. And the very fact is, well, preacher, I'm not a sinner. If you don't give God the glory and the honor and power, you have sinned against God because you have not done what you were created for. And to give God the glory, the honor, and power, you must give it to God through Jesus Christ. Because Jesus said of himself, when I quote the scripture, it is Jesus speaking. Jesus said, I am, Jesus, am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Your only access to God is through Jesus Christ. And the only way that you can fulfill to give God glory and honor and power is through the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other honor than the honor of God through the finished work of Jesus Christ. And you do not honor and glorify and power God in religion. You do not give God the glory and the honor and power when you got self-righteousness. And you sure don't give God the glory, the honor, and the power when you have rejected Jesus Christ. Because when you reject Jesus Christ, you reject God. And when you say, preacher, I'm going to heaven because I am good, well then you think you are gooder than Jesus. Because Jesus said he's the only access to the Father, and you thinking that you're good, you are gooder than Jesus. That does not give God the glory, the honor, and the power that you were created. Well, preacher, I go to church. The church was not nailed to the cross. There was no church at Calvary. The church came after Calvary. The only thing a church will do for you for salvation is occupy your time. Jesus Christ is not the church when he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. To get access through the way, the truth, and the life, to get to the Father, it is by a person and not a place. And that person is the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is how you will glorify and honor and power God. 
when you lay everything else down in the ground and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. That honors God. And you say, well, I'm a Christian. Okay, great. When you give more honor to a person, place, or thing, when you got your favorite, you got your best, you got... You're not giving glory and honor and power to God. You're giving it to something else. I got my favorite movie. I got my favorite actress. I've got my favorite car driver. I got my favorite car. That's not God. For thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things. For thy pleasure they are and were created. Your race car driver did not create you. That movie did not create you. God created you. And it is possible to take God off the throne and put something else on or somebody else on that throne in your life. But the only one that belongs on that throne is God. The only one to give honor to and glory and power is to God. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things. For thy pleasure they are and were created. If you are not giving God the honor and glory, you have sinned, whether you are lost or you are saved. If you believe in evolution, you have sinned. Because the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and earth. There was no Big Bang. The Big Bang comes later. Mother Earth will be destroyed by God by a fervent heat. Relax. The Big Bang is coming. It hasn't happened yet. And the God that created all things is the God that is worthy of all glory, honor, and power. And you do that through the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's how you glory God. That's how you honor God. That is the power of God that Jesus saves and only Jesus saves. God gets no glory going to church. Because you give your money to the preacher. You don't give it to God. You rejoice at the preacher and his message. Well, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 says that that preacher could be of the devil. The only glory of God and honor of God and power of God is through Jesus Christ upon Calvary. And if you are a lost person today, and you have never put your faith and trust in the finished work of Jesus, you can't give glory and honor and power to God. You are godless. You are without hope. When the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the blessed hope.
God, the Creator. If I turn to John chapter 1, try to turn to John chapter 1. John chapter 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. That's Jesus Christ. Not only is Jesus Christ the, the Savior of the world, but Jesus Christ is your Creator. And your Creator suffered and died upon Calvary's cross according to the Scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Charlie Darwin could do nothing. The Big Bang can't save you. But our God, the Creator, Jesus Christ, is able to save your soul, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That is your creator reaching out to you, the creation, that you might be saved and not go to hell. And in that, according to Revelation chapter 4, you're able to give him glory, honor, and power. That is why he created you. He made you to worship the creator. And the creator is Jesus Christ. That in the Creator, Jesus Christ, there is no other life than Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I am the water of life. I am eternal life. The gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Our Lord. Our Creator, our Savior, is the one and only Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And if you believe in evolution, you must turn to your prophet, Charlie Darwin, and call upon the Big Bang to save your soul. And friend, the Big Bang can't save your soul because the Big Bang ain't the Creator. According to the King James Bible, the Creator is God, the Creator is Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus is God, the Savior of the world is Jesus Christ, and you were created to honor and glorify and give power to God through Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's your creator reaching out to you, the creation. And why am I here? Revelation chapter 4 says to give honor and glory and power to God. And when you don't give honor and glory and power to God, you have sinned. And when you give the, the glory, the honor, and the power to anything or anyone else, you've double sinned. It's plain and simple to the scriptures.
Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There is nobody, there is nothing else but the salvation by our Creator upon Calvary's cross. Don't worry. The Big Bang will happen later. It did not happen before. Our Creator went to Calvary and he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures knowing that his creation was without hope. We have sinned against God and sinners don't go to heaven. They go to hell. That if you want to go to heaven you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. 